Good morning, folks. We'll be going over the space weather of the last day, but the bigger stories are in the articles and video recommendations, including both excellent science and some which need to be corrected. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We had one M-class solar flare, not of long duration, and otherwise a relatively quiet day. We do have a few sunspots, a few plasma filaments, southern coronal hole, but since the New Year's Eve flare, it's been a much quieter stretch here to kick off 2024. The CME impact we were expecting did hit. It was indeed a glancing blow, very weak compared to what would have been the central bulk of the ejection. It barely nudged the geomagnetic conditions, but did cause even more high-energy protons to arrive at Earth, which are currently ionizing the polar regions, still at a relatively modest dosage only. The sunspots that produced the X-class flare a few days ago have went into decay. It is possible they will not flare again given this setup. We'll be watching as they continue turning across the heliographic longitudes. Our first article today correctly alters the history of the West Coast wildfires. They are saying that their frequency used to be way higher than they had previously believed, which means that what has happened in more recent years is not unprecedented and in fact is somewhat an expected cycle of the forestry system. Up next, Sky Scholar has some amazing new videos out on his channel. It's one of very few channels I highly recommend you watch due to the important science in the space and star realm. Sky Scholar link is below. That is Dr. Pierre-Marie Robitaille. Awesome article up next, even if it needs correcting. They are spotting these more and more now, the millipede clouds. The problem is their insistence on trying to describe them using only pressure and temperature. The word electric does not appear in the article. These are in fact exactly what a cosmic ray cloud chamber line looks like up close, and they are being seen more often now because Earth's magnetic field is weakening and letting in more of that cosmic energy surging the atmospheric electric currents. Last but not least, excellent identification of Earth's safety valve for temperature. Meltwater dumps of fresh cold snow into the oceans chills them and freshens them, making them more likely to refreeze, which is going to happen up north as well, by the way. Remember, Earth is only warm like we've come to know it when the ice is locked at the polar region. When it melts, the whole world feels the chill of a Heinrich event. That is what's on our doorstep in the near-term future. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.